you can see that I've got little lever bones here and what these are for is to extend the fingers out and inward and there's three fingers and this one is the forefinger middle finger pinky okay same on each hand so when I move this one I'm now stretching the middle finger out or folding it over and then the same with the pinky okay but because we're looking with the thumb towards us it is the forefinger that we see that folds over over the other fingers there. Now we can rotate the hand up and down and you can see the fold fingers stay folded in. So we can fold them back to normal which is straight up and down. And if you're trying to get exactly straight up and down, uh, I guess you have to be very uh, exacting on where you put the fingers. So we bring these all back to center normal. There's the normal hand. I think that's a little short there. There we go. And now we can rotate the hand. You can see that the thing, forefinger is the one that's, uh, well, we need to be in the animation layer here again. But you can see that the forefinger is the one that's rotating with the thumb towards us while the pinky is going behind the third finger. Okay? But when we use our hands, we can put our thumb down and bring our finger over top of that thumb, right? So we can do that, but you can see here, the thumb is staying on top. And also when we're animating, sometimes we don't wanna see the palm of the hand, so we would use this to see the back of the hand. So now we're seeing the back of the hand, and if we fold the fingers, they fold under to be on the other side of the hand, okay? The same with the thumb, if we fold it down, it's folding behind the palm now, just like that. So this allows us to switch between the palm before and the palm behind, but it does more than that because that's when it's at its standard rest state that the thumb is behind or on top of uh, all the other fingers, okay? But sometimes we wanna put our forefinger over top of our thumb or the two bottom fingers over the top of our thumb so like we wanted to put point like that well I guess that works but what if we wanted to hold our thumb down with the other two fingers well we can do that simply by adjusting this lever here and going to whichever pattern we need for whichever fingers are on top and whichever fingers are underneath. So at this point, you can bring the thumb up and you can see that it's falling underneath all three fingers. But if we move this, we can now have it falling under the forefinger, but not the middle finger or the third finger. So each possible position is available here, just like this. So you can see I'm going under the middle finger, but on top of the pinky and the forefinger. So we can get every pattern we want right here like this. Okay, so we can also include an object in the hand. So if I go to this bottom left hand, you can see I have an object in hand and it's turned off. So we simply turn that on and now you can see, well, it's not holding it, it's just the object is in top of the hand. But we can move this lever and make those fingers grasp that object in any manner that we want. So we can have the character gripping this stick like this, or we can have the character gingerly holding it with the thumb and forefinger. So we can bring the forefinger up like this and now it looks like the character's just barely holding on to the stick.